The 2010 Hubby Key Cymru Meet Promotion Wales Annual Conference was held in Ceredigion this year at the National Pavilion of Wales in Pontreed Vendigaid. The event was opened by the new HCC chairman, Di Davis, who warned farmers about the future of the industry if livestock numbers continue to fall. The declining number of stock is a real worry. Hopefully, this year's more positive signals from the marketplace will come to the decline in the sheep sector. However, the present volatility in the beef market does nothing to boost farmers' confidence to invest in the future. Let us hope that a bulging order book for our quality brand will give us a competitive edge in the marketplace. We must ensure that we are in a position to maintain a sustainable critical mass of livestock on our farms. Otherwise, our recent successes, both at home and abroad, will come to nothing. Rural Affairs Minister Ellen Jones was the keynote speaker at the conference. She praised the important role that Welsh farming played in the national economy. The retail value of Welsh red meat sales worldwide is more than a billion pounds a year. That is a staggering sum to me. We must celebrate the success of this sector and ensure it's given proper recognition for its role in the Welsh economy. Farming is often seen as individuals working in isolation, one man, one woman and their dog tending a lonely flock of sheep on a windswept mountainside. In fact, the red meat sector is a billion pound a year industry, employing more than 33,000 people in Wales. Each individual farmer is part of a much bigger machine, part of that conveyor belt in the red meat supply chain. The countryside could be seen to be a very large factory, albeit one with grass on the floor and no roof, and no clocking on or clocking off uh, for its workers. Uh, this factory producing food for our nation and beyond our borders and it is a hugely complicated uh, network of individual businesses, including farmers, auction marts, processing plants, butchers, supermarkets, and many other food service outlets that combine to produce some astounding results. The theme of this year's conference was food insecurity, and one of this year's speakers was an expert on that topic. Professor Patrick Wall from University College Dublin explained to delegates the link between farming and human health. Basically, human nutrition is the is key and uh, we influence human nutrition by what we feed the animals and we got that a salutary lesson in Ireland in 2008 when uh, we fed contaminated pig rations to pigs and uh, we ended up with contaminated uh, pig meat with dioxins and had to do a global recall a spectacular long goal we scored so animal nutrition is key to human nutrition in two ways the other thing is when you manipulate the animal's nutrition you can manipulate the composition of the output and that's kind of key for yourselves here because like the grass-based lamb production that you have is a different product from intensively reared lamb and there's a different omega-3 content and so uh, basically human nutrition is key to human health like you are what you eat you know safe wholesome food is fundamental to good health you wouldn't put diesel into a petrol car where people would eat anything so if someone asks you what business are you in you're in the health business from today on if anyone asks you what business are you in you're in the health business doctors and nurses they're not in the health business they're in the sickness business the 2009 HCC scholar Adrian Thomas also spoke at the conference about his study of grassland management methods in New Zealand and what we can learn from farmers in the Southern Hemisphere. So my view, I think we have to increase uh, the production of meat from forage. I think that has to be the goal for us. Um, and the two key words that come out to me for, for this is um, we have to actually improve utilisation. Can we actually move from only using half of what we grow now uh, we need to actually really improve that and put an emphasis on that if we're going to meet these goals um, and also really drive efficiency, really try to become more efficient. And we can achieve some of what they do. It's not that different. Yes, there are differences, but it's not that differences. We can't do everything, maybe, but there are certain things there if we concentrated it and focused on it uh, that I'm sure we can do. And there are ways of improving uh, profitability by looking carefully at some of these things without just going, having, to, uh, having an increased price for our product. Delegates also heard from the new market development manager, Laura Dodds, who told visitors to the conference what she aimed to do in her new role. We have uh, an excellent brand um, that, that should give us a fantastic platform for driving sales in the future. 
and it's my intention to ensure that the, uh, the Welsh brand continues to be the number one in the UK and to, to build the brand reputation overseas so that we are the uh, number one brand globally. The final speaker at this year's conference was former demonstration farmer Neil Perkins, who talked about how being part of the Farming Connect Red Meat Development Programme had helped his business. The Demo Farm has had a massive contribution to the farm's development. Like I said earlier, a special thanks to the HEC staff, uh, Lindbergh and Mark especially, uh, Farming Connect, it's Caris and Sean, Innovus and Ivers have been a integral part of the system, and most importantly, the farmers have attended, because without them, we wouldn't be where we are now. I feel that demonstration farms in Wales uh, could embrace uh, similar templates that we see out in New Zealand and uh, I believe that we need to strive to be the best, we keep moving on. I believe that Wales are some of the best farmers anywhere in the world. Presentations from this year's conference can be downloaded from the publication section of the HCC website.